This video is one of these that might actually bore you to death, but these videos are so important to be a web designer or a developer. Um, it's from Web Designer News, which I've actually reported on before on this channel. Um, and I would, I would say to people who are interested in becoming a web designer or got their own site, just have a, just get this, subscribe to it and, and get it through your email because there's um, most times when you get the email, there's nothing that really catches my eye, but there's always one or two a week that do. And this one is something called page weight to find and fix heavy images on your website. And anyway, I've already got this up. And this here, um, I'm just doing this as an example. What, what it does is how images are affecting your page rate, etc. And the thing is, is that you've got one point on this particular one. This is 1.94 megabytes image weight. And if you optimize it, it could be 106 kilobytes. Okay. So this is the difference between you could build the most beautiful website you could. But if you if your weight of page is too much, people are just going to leave it by the time it loads. And we've got to think about people who are living in places like India and Pakistan. These people have got a thirst for knowledge. And I know a lot of them are, have subscribed on this channel and they really do. But they're in some of these countries, and, and I know what it's like myself, to have slow internet speeds. You've got to have things optimized as much as possible. And... It's all over the world as well. I mean, it can be it can be similar things, but like usually here in the West and places like Australia, and that things are a bit different, faster internet speeds and that. But there are a lot of countries you've got to really if if you know where your target audience is, it might be different. But with um, if you're going to do a general thing, you've got to you've got to design for everyone. Okay, so this here is actually a client I had. Um, and honestly, I mean, he's, he's the chap himself. I mean, we, we're great mates. Do you know what I mean? We, we really are. But professionally, we just we just don't see eye to eye on, on things. But as a person, we, we actually knock about with each other a lot. So anyway, on here, I've just done this because of like sort of th this is what you actually have to come against as well. A total page weight of 2.73 megabytes. Okay, so you can... Imagine what that's like, how many seconds and that you've got to wait for that to come. The image weight is 1.94 and the potential savings on image optimization saves two megabytes. And the way you would do that is um, there's the image here and I just come down to the worst performing image. Okay, so here's your worst performing image, which is 1.42 megabytes. And you can actually knock that down to 31 kilobytes. They're both JPEG images, okay? So sometimes you've got to like look at these and look at them objectively as well. Um, but on something like this, when you take the 1.42 megabytes, you will have a slight reduction in quality. But the thing is, is that if you look at the original dimensions on a two two uh two five seven one to four seven eight uh width the thing with that is that when it's on the page it won't be that big of two five seven one um it's just it's just that's what the original image is and, and it's 1.42 megabytes jpeg okay so i've just gone to a few of my uh my sites here and i'll just show you what this is and remember both of them are jpeg images so um we just go to page weight here um come on all right okay so i'll put this in and i'll put mine in and this is something that i've banged on about a lot with um with people that who for example my friend and he's had several web designers and he always comes back to us and he says, Nigel, what do you think of my new design? And I say, it's the same as any other. I says, it's not the web designer. I says, it's you. I says, you won't allow people to, to you won't listen to any web designer or anything like that. Okay, so here on my, uh, my site, on my main site, 
is you've got 1.07 megabytes total page weight light. The image weight is most, which is 239 kilobytes. Your potential savings is 80%. Okay, now if you look at that, um, normally I would say 1.07 is still quite a lot for, for uh, a home page. But if you look at the site, it's actually a one page thing. Okay, so a one page site at 1.07 is not too bad at all um, as i've always said as well as that one page it's the disadvantage of one page sites is that there's a slight weight gain um, but if you come down to this on here um, and you look at the kilobytes the image the worst image okay which is 66.4 and if it's optimized it's um, going to be 8.3 kilobytes okay so i look at that and i see the original dimensions as well and i've made an error on this okay i didn't know i had but i have i made an error on this page um by having too much weight on this this image would it make that much difference i've always i always think that if you can just knock them down 100 kilobytes and not lose too much you know not too much quality in that um I use Photoscape usually for um, for my image editor and it usually knocks them down pretty well but I've made a bit of an error on that one okay so that needs attention um, but yes I mean most things there are, uh, get your complete report so it's not bad but it could be better okay so I mean I'm just doing this off the cuff really and now this other one here dhtml rocks and we just do this copy and again page weight into this and again guys i cannot say how much importance this is a lot of people don't have good internet connections i've just been able to get a better internet connection myself so i know how irritating it can be to, to wait and wait and wait for for things to come and these tools i know google have tools similar to this um but this is this is an interesting one okay I'll look at this now and i haven't even seen whether this is light or not but it's very light 186 kilobytes for a page is very very light so that's i'm just patting myself on the back that is a good thing light light uh, potential savings suggested 60 percent well, we'll just have a look at what they mean by that how images affecting your page 41.6 is the 41.6 is the main image that's causing and that can be down to 16.7 optimized is that worth it i don't know uh your worst, worst performing image is 34.9 kilobytes okay and you can knock that down to 5.9 uh, um no the thing the problem with this is the where it is is good where it would be is bad if you look on here it's uh, PNG okay so I've got it as PNG there okay now if it was what they're suggesting is go to JPEG yes it will optimize it down but then you would have a white background and that's not something that I want okay so I'm quite happy with that one the first website is something I would have to work on a little bit but yeah this is um, I'll put the details of where you can find this page uh, it's just pageweight.imjix it's called .com and I think it's again it's got a mobile version I've just noticed that um, again it's got light on there which is what I need so when people are using uh, well I mean I've got 4G in that um, for mobile phones but a lot of people have only got 3G G and 2G even uh, most of the UK has got 4G now. I think it's about 90 odd percent. I know Kevin Bacon and in his irritating adverts is uh, always going on about it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that I just thought this was a very interesting thing. You, you, uh, you people probably think this is a bit boring, but you'll not be thinking it's a bit boring when people leave your web page um, because it's too, you know, it loads too slow. So always check your images. It's so important. So thanks for, thanks for listening again. And uh, just another uh, thing as well before I go is YouTube is having a, a whole redesign. So if, uh, 
if you see things that's not quite right all across YouTube, it's because of that. And I know my channel has been affected as well. So anyway, thanks for watching.